Hey, yo, what's up, beautiful people? Thank you so much again for stopping by to the team, a brand. If you're new to our channel, do it as we do. Kindly do subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button subscribe button guys like our video don't forget to comment down in the comment section you know such small things like liking subscribing you know commenting sharing our videos we never take it for granted as a team brian we really really appreciate and i really thank for the, the returning subscribers i really appreciate for your efforts of supporting the channel uh yeah i really do appreciate and if you're new Karibu sana. This is a place that you're going to learn a lot. I do more content to do with Qatar jobs and all those things. And today we are kind of going on venturing into something new. Yeah, related to jobs, but something that we have not talked for the longest time possible. Guys, as you as you as you know me, guys, I talk about Qatar jobs, you know, and mostly I touch uh non-skilled jobs, you know, security, which I dress, cleaning, all those non-skilled jobs. And uh for the first time uh, due to uh can i say due to demand yeah a lot of people have been have been demanding this i want to do about skilled jobs in qatar and how they pay you know, i remember when i did about uh non-skilled jobs and i stated their salaries and i said that salaries are uh, varied so the salary i stated there is what most of uh, people took uh, forgetting that uh, but uh, forgetting one thing that salaries are vary from company to company so in our video today i'm going to do it kind of different guys i'm not going to mention salaries on this particular uh field of jobs but i'm going to tell you like how to acquire them how to you know elevate yourself to acquire such jobs and uh yeah what do you need to do guys so in our list here i've written down uh, some of uh the jobs that is the skill jobs in qatar and i've tried to you know uh, categorize them into different parts so i will start with uh nursing there is what we call nursing of course nursing is a uh, yeah yeah it's a medical field kind of a related jobs and this is a job that you have to be skilled you have to be a trained nurse or trained assistant nurse uh, for you to you know get this job so how do they recruit uh to be honest mostly the jobs uh that, that kind of jobs mostly is uh being uh done by i see a lot of in qatar a lot of indians and Filipinos. Filipinos, they you know uh, do this kind of jobs and Arabic speakers. But I've seen Nigerians, I've seen Kenyans, I've seen you know uh, le less minority of them. I can say minority, but they still uh, do these jobs. So according to my uh, understanding, how to get these jobs mostly is by the direct recru recruitment. If you you know apply, for example, in Hamad uh, Hospital. Uh, or other you know this uh, other hospitals you can be di uh, directly recruited and this is going to you know determined by be determined by your experience and qualifications and uh, yeah a lot of things of such another thing uh, that uh, is going to lead you or help you uh, get the nursing jobs is um adding a little uh Qatar satisfied courses. I've seen a lot of people taking the nursing courses or the assistant nursing courses, then you know they elevate themselves. By the end of it, you get that they are qualified, you know, to be an assistant nurse. Uh, later, you know, you you go up by becoming a nurse. So uh get if you if you are here and you have a background of nursing, go to this uh colleges around get a certified assistant nurse certificate adapt to your cvs and try to apply these jobs and you're going to get and i think these jobs pay from five thousand and above or four thousand and above let's say four thousand and above this is quite some good amount of money uh, or salary that you can earn and uh, yeah i can you know i can uh, I can advise you to try it if you have a nursing background here in Doha, Qatar. Another type of category of job is uh, the management. Management is broad, you know. We have a uh, facility management. Uh, we have, uh, you know, hospitality and industry. Part of it, you want to be a manager in F and B. Uh, if you have the experience and everything, you want to be a manager in uh, housekeeping. You want to, you want to be a manager in a, a farm. You want to be a general manager. Uh, we have another one, uh, the company executive. You know, a manager in a company. Uh, uh, a, a lot, you know, to do with uh, management and all those things. And uh, I can say also to keep you are you're managing a store such kind of job they exist here so how do you get it of course you know apply the, the uh, depending on your qualification and experience so if you are qualified storekeeper you can also take courses like a storekeeper you can take a course here i remember I did a course in supply chain management and logistics i think uh if i really wanted to go into you know stock keeping uh i could have really gone into this and i think data entry also uh implies here 
which I forgot to jot down, but also you can try, you know, the data entry and everything. So the facility management, the stock keeper, also, all those things, also another category of job that you can try also here in Doha, Qatar. And uh, number three in our list is the human resource. You know, you want to be an HR, you want to be, you know, an HR assistant, you have to be, you know, all these things to do with the human resource, guys, which is uh, very applicable. I've seen a lot of nationalities like the Filipinos, you know, uh, working such. Uh, Filipino ladies, most of them are HR, also men, you know. So so what 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 uh, qualifies you i think is more of a language and your qualification so guys if you have a background of you know human resource in your country uh yeah go for these jobs guys you can apply them and you know weigh your chances also you can do courses i've seen a lot of courses being offered here short courses in Doha, Qatar. guys i've realized that the short courses are going to help you more so if you have time you know you can go to these uh uh, colleges and everything you can go and uh, try out your luck number four which i think i'm going to take most of the time is the welding painting carpentry yeah I've, i will have joined it with the number five but i want to you know categorize it alone welding painting and carpentry of course these are skilled jobs i cannot do welding you cannot do welding you cannot do painting you cannot do carpentry if you are not uh qualified and guys guess what these are very well paying jobs in Qatar. Welding, painting, and carpentry. These are very well paying jobs in Qatar. They pay 5,000 to 6,000 Qatar real. I've seen electricians, uh, I've, I've seen uh, uh, welding people, you know, uh, uh, welding and painting, you know, I've seen carpenters being paid really well in Qatar. So it depends on uh, how you can. I've seen people coming here as cleaners, they have that knowledge of, of welding and uh, all this uh, and they get jobs here so you go you know show your skills then the the, the the company is going to hire you i'm painting also maybe working in a garage painting the cars we have a lot of gar garage in uh, qatar so if you can you know get this chance you know and uh, show out your your capabilities that you can you know do these jobs you are well and good and they pay really very well number five which is more of number four is the electric work and the me mechanics also i've seen a lot of people working as mechanics here and they hand really good money maybe three thousand to five thousand qatar real which is a very significant salary that can help you uh, you know using your skill and uh, all these things and uh, there's a lot of benefits that comes with uh, comes with working as an electrician and as a mechanic you can also you know make it more like a business i've seen people who start now selling the scrap metals from cars buying the engines buying the cars cars are very cheap you know these are abandoned cars in qatar they get auctioned at the very cheap i've seen people you know venturing into that by the time you realize like yes three or four taxes uh taxi work you know this taxi business and still is doing these uh mechanics and uh, so such things you know or if you you know fix for somebody a car was extra cars in qatar it's no need to have an extra cars this shakes or whatever they give to even a car so these are very uh, nice uh, jobs of course and they're skilled they need skilled people you cannot go do you know mechanics if you don't know how to make a, a, a car or how to fix a car you cannot do it because i don't really know how to do it so these are jobs that you can try if you're really skilled in a lot of africans are employed by on this field i've seen a lot of indians and pakistanis you know you can try this our number six is graphics you know to do with graphic design all these things you know if you are good in computer and you can do all these things uh you can also try these are skilled jobs that really pay well in doha qatar you can try them in you know try to apply and get yourself a chance to work uh, under those then we have a plant operators and dealing with uh, uh operating the excavators if you know how to operate the machines you know in the industry sector in the and these factories factories mining sectors you know here do we there, there, there is what to call uh drilling you know the drill and you know oil refinery all these things they need uh, experts who are good in plant operating and all those things i don't i don't really know much about it guys but i know it's a really paying job like they really get paid well go so if you are uh qualified on such field i've seen a lot of Ghanaians working as plant operators i've seen kenyans working as plant uh, plant operators i've seen i've seen a lot of uh, uh africans you know doing the excavator there if you are driving the excavators you can drive these rollers you can drive these uh, all this you know operate them all these you know dealing with construction and everything they pay really well like uh 
like uh, an excavator, I think they get paid 6,000 Qatar real, which is a very significant uh, salary that you can uh, go for it. Uh, so don't scoop low. If you have that, you know, knowledge and skill of operating all these things and doing these jobs, guys, kindly go for them, guys, and they're really going uh, to pay you well yeah so i believe really i've tackled all these if you want me to go deeper into them guys you can uh, comment down in the comment section and if you're going to you know find a way on how we are we can go around it and yeah advise you accordingly so thank you so much guys again for stopping by to the team uh, brian if you're new to our channel do it as we do it can you subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button really appreciate for your life see you for your love guys sorry see you in our next video